Thank you, Asha. Wonderful music. Thank you guys so much. Oh, isn't this a beautiful day? Beautiful moment? Uh, this is my favorite time of year, and I can honestly say I'm filled with more gratitude. And you would think I would say, yeah, Jamie, you can do that any time of year. But fall, the colors, there's something about it that to me, uh, it just is so nourishing. And I think a lot of it, because it's that metaphor of letting things fall away. Letting things simply move on. It's a shedding, if you will. And today, I wanted us to have this experiential time to use the power of gratitude, the power of love, to say the power of thank you, how often we do that. Denise is going to be handing out some different things for you, and she can go ahead and start doing that now to prepare you for the experience that we're going to have. And uh, please just take one of those. It's actually a little gratitude box for you to carry with you, uh, say like a prayer box or something that you uh, can fold together and use, if you will, to remind you your blessings. Maybe during this holiday season, you can put more of a focus and an emphasis on really practicing gratitude, working the power of it in your life, and to see what miracles unfold. So take that box. I feel like the universe is always saying, hey, I always have something to offer you, but you always have something to take away. So please feel free to fold that together if you'd like during the service. And Denise is also handing out little pieces of paper and a couple little hearts for you to already um, put into your box, if you will. But what we're going to do after the next few moments, I'm going to share a couple quotes with you, is going to be an exercise of letting go of those things that no longer serve you. Gratitude is easy. I think you all would agree. When things are going well, when things are falling in place for us. Gratitude is an easy thing. It's like, yeah, I can be grateful for that. But what happens when we bump up against the things that we're still trying to find the gift in? What do we do with experience that we have? Or something maybe from our past that we still cannot see the blessing or the gift in it. We just can't seem to get there. So that's what today's experience is going to be offering you a chance to allow the power of gratitude, the frequency and vibration of it, to help you transform your life inside and out. I love this wonderful quote by Rumi. It says, wear gratitude like a cloak, and it will feed every corner of your life. Can you imagine some of the times in those moments when you you're not quite sure and, and you're feeling less than or separate, that you can allow that cloak perhaps to be perceived as your consciousness. Because our consciousness is that place from which we live. So when you are clothed and cloaked in this wonderful energy of gratitude, it can truly transform you. The spiritual practice of gratitude is both illuminating and transformational. It unlocks the riches of life, our relationships, and sacred connectivity. It truly does allow us to tap into that divine frequency. I like to think of gratitude as a gateway. It's a portal that we can begin to enter into a different kind of experience. And hopefully today you will experience the wonderful gifts that all of these instruments have to offer you. How it resonates with you, the frequencies of it, which Every cell in your body, every fiber of your being is already vibrating at a certain frequency. One way to think of it is, when two frequencies are brought together, the lower will always rise to meet the higher. This is a principle of resonance. So when we talk about sound therapy and sound, there's always a resonance to it, notes to it. The band and Asha very much can relate to all of that because this is what they work with all the time. So, for example, when a piano is tuned, a tuning fork is struck and then brought close to the piano string that carries the same musical tone. The string, and you imagine yourself as the string, then raises its vibration automatically and attunes itself to the same rate at which the fork is vibrating. So imagine yourself, we are what instruments of peace, are we not? We are the voice for love. We're always operating from some kind of vibration. 
we can actually increase the speed at which the molecules in our bodies vibrate through our thoughts of love, joy, peace, gratitude. All of those energies, you know how good it feels. You know how much your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, when you feel good and you're grateful and love is flowing in your life, don't you feel different? Isn't there such a contrast when you're in that dense, sluggish, heavy energy? And that's the beauty of it. We wouldn't know the higher frequencies, the higher energies, if we were not tapped into those lower, dense energies sometimes that are part of our human experience. But the good news is we can allow ourselves to receive the gift of gratitude. We can allow ourselves to be the voice for that and become truly embodiments of grace and gratitude. I, once again, I think of it as a, it's a gateway to grace. It's a gateway to God, whatever you call God. When atoms slow down in that third dimensional matter, like I said, in that dense, heavy, more human energy, when they speed up, the higher dimensions of consciousness are raised. And the higher our consciousness is raised, what? Don't you feel more connected? If you felt separate, isolated, all of a sudden you're like, I am one with all that is. Because what I believe, and I think a lot of you do too, is that you are that embodiment. You are that expression. All of life is expressing and moving through you in every single moment of your existence, whether you're conscious of it or not. And through sound, through deepening your awareness, through using the power of gratitude and exercising those muscles, you can become so conscious and so aware and so present in your life that nothing, no thing, will escape your awareness. Or not as much as you used to, let's put it that way. You will become so present, so mindful, so immersed in every moment. And that's when the miracles unfold because they're already happening around us all the time. They're already there. It's just now we are elevated. We have risen our vibration. We have risen up. It's, it's up here now. And we can truly see through our divine understanding, through our heart. To me, gratitude is this heartfulness. It's truly living from that place of saying, thank you. Thank you. In the reading that Denise had, to say thank you, even though you may not know what you're saying, you're th saying, I'm thank you for, but to simply say thank you and to let it go and to trust and know that, wow, life is really good and I am open to receive it because I know that this prosperity, peace, joy, all of these things, they are my birthright. And to deny myself those things, I play small. I stay less than. And then my energy is really slow and dense, and it's really more challenging to truly say yes to life with a smile on your face and a smile in your heart. Gratitude is that energy that carries that vibration that truly does reach into your heart, into the heart of another, of another, of another. That's it, of another, another, another butter. That's what's popped in. Because that's the connectivity. I think Sidney's talk one time on gratitude, if I'm not mistaken, was about that in relationships. Relationships with ourselves, relationships with each other, that connectivity that says, wow, we are in this together and we've got it. Got gratitude? Yes, I've got it. And it is truly amazing. Gratitude is a magic that attracts your experiences. It is a universal law that governs your whole existence. To me, when I'm grateful for things, I find that I have more things to be grateful for. It's endless. So we're going to move now into the sound experience. And I just invite you to just simply be where you are with it and allow whatever comes into your awareness to just be a gift and a guide that you bring to yourself. And just so you know, this was the bowl I've been sharing with you that I was going to bring today, and it actually is F, the note F, so it is tuned to your heart.
This is the note for your heart. And this bowl is a B, which is your crown chakra. And actually, a lot of gongs are not tuned to certain notes because it's difficult to do that with these types of gongs, but this particular one actually is, and it is C. And C is our root chakra. So we're going to be grounded through the sound of the gong. We're going to move up into our heart space and allow ourselves to heal. And then you'll notice the energy and the notes of the B-bowl to connect you to that higher mind. So I've got you covered. The universe has you covered in, around, and through you. And we have music already That's playing. It, it's like, see what happened? <laughs> Wasn't that already amazing? No, Truly. Really if, and um, just feel like you want to close your eyes or whatever it is that feels right for you. I don't know if we can dim the lights or not, but if we can't, you may not be able to see what you're recording, Melanie, so. Perhaps. Okay, so I invite you to take a deep breath right now. And do I need Let's mute our phones. We haven't muted it yet. Yeah, that's what, thank you, Sydney. That's, you know, usually when I do these, I would say, please check your phone, turn them off, mute your phone. So if you're not sure if your phone is turned off, that would be delightful. Just <sighs> take a breath. I invite you actually to allow your breath to breathe you. Because that breath truly is the divine moving in around and through you in every moment. From the moment you took that very first breath. Even as an infant, there was that awareness, that knowing you are so special and you are so amazing. Truly a child of the Most High. Just allow yourself to become more aware. The chair in which you're sitting. Your body. How you're positioned. To allow that energy of love and gratitude to flow through you right now. Just breathe. Begin to feel the flow of life, of love. Feel your heart expand. Just like you begin to expand in your consciousness and your awareness of all that is happening in your life. Perhaps right now you can begin to become aware of something, just one thing that you're grateful for. Something that maybe would be on the top of your list perhaps, or somewhere in between. What does that feel like to you right now? What does that gratitude sound like? Focus your thoughts right now on something that you are grateful for. And begin to notice those waves of gratitude wash over you.
gently, yet powerfully. Deepen your breath. Take it down from your chest into your belly, to your abdomen. Feel your stomach relaxing, your hips, your belly. Carry a lot of emotion in our solar plexus. Just notice where your breath is right now. As it continues to bless your body inside and out. As you notice that breath, are you aware that perhaps right now you're feeling so blessed and grateful to simply be sitting here in this beautiful space in your beautiful community? One thing you thought of a moment ago that you're grateful for. Allow that energy to continue just to move through you, to your muscles, to your cells, every fiber of your being. Just let it penetrate to all that you are. Gratitude is sound nourishment. It's feeding you, it's loving you. Just bask in the blessing of gratitude. you now to think of something else that you're grateful for. Something perhaps that you're even more grateful for than the first thing you thought of. And as you begin to open and relax and let go, I imagine there will be other awarenesses of things that you are grateful for that are streaming into you. So capture those thoughts as they move through you. What is it that you are grateful for in your life that immediately when you think of it there's such a difference. You already feel very different in that moment. Perhaps a smile starts to wash over your face.
where I can see the truth of all that is. And begin to know that everything, everything is generously offered by this most amazing universe.
began to notice a peace wash over me. And I am at ease. as though I'm trapped in this human body, but that I am on a journey beyond the human understanding. And I am so grateful for this awareness right here and right now. I have the assurance of knowing that no matter what, challenge or obstacle I may encounter, that I am equipped, that I have the courage and conviction to navigate any path that I may be on. right now where you are and how you're feeling. As you continue to be immersed in this beautiful energy, I invite you now to think of some things, maybe one thing in particular, that you might be challenged with or have been challenged by in your life to be grateful for it, to see the gift in it. Is there something that still tugs at your heart? Something you know that you're still holding on to, that you're anchored into, like to be able to see differently, <clears throat> to be able to see the gift in it, so that that dense and heavy energy can no longer be part of your experience, and you can truly be free. during this season of the year and every season of your life to know that at any moment you can give yourself a gift of gratitude by saying, yes, I am ready. I am open. I am willing to see and know this challenge that I've had in my life, whether it's something from the past or something that's newer or fresh. Right now, I invite you, if you are so inclined, to take the, the paper that Denise has handed out and to write down on a piece of paper that particular thing or things that you would like to bring up here to put into this heart bowl for that to be transmuted, for that challenge, for that obstacle to be melted away. You are saying yes. Gratitude. Bring it on. I want more of it in my life. And to know that you can only receive that which you have room to receive. And if this is not the time when you're ready to do that, that's perfectly okay too. But just know that this gratitude energy is offered to you now, and you, every single one of you, are the co-creators of it right now in this moment. So what is it that you would like to give yourself a gift of today through the grace and power of it? And as you're ready to come up, you can drop your paper in the bowl, however you'd like to do that minutes with the energy to put it inside the bowl. 
divine birthright to live a life of joy, peace, prosperity, fun, abundance, laughter, endless laughter, to be nourished and fed. And the beauty of gratitude is you don't have to do anything to earn it. It is freely given.
higher power, my divine creator. Take these gifts with you today that you have given yourself and give it to everyone here. And be that blessing, not only throughout this season, this holiday season, but every season of your life. Feel it now. Take a few deep, deep and natural breaths from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Say thank you to this amazing, beautiful vessel, this body that you have. Knowing it is already whole and perfect, and that you will continue to travel your journey as this amazing spiritual being in this lifetime. Allow it to teach you. Listen to it. Listen to the blessings and the gifts that it offers you, and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. We thank you, sweet spirit, and so it is, all is well. <laughs>